So check this out. Apparently to some, the flag is nothing more than toilet paper. I have some thoughts on this week's edition of Healthy Republic. Hey everybody, I'm Katie, and I want to take a moment to rem reminisce in the good old days. Remember when you were a kid and you couldn't wait to sit down on Sunday to watch a game of professional football? You brought the family together, you yelled from the sofa, and you high-fived each other when your team scored a touchdown. I miss those days, and I feel bad that today's youth will not understand and be able to embrace this feeling. Because much like their education and everything else that influences their worldview, the game of football, too, has become politicized. Today on Healthy Republic, we provide a clear example that ties into the NFL. Specifically, we are talking about toilet paper and the American flag, because they are now one in the same. This is according to Tracy O'Neill Ellis, a member of the School Board of Education for School District U46 in Elgin, Illinois. O'Neill Ellis took to Facebook, like oh so many people have done, to express her opinion on many NFL players taking a knee during the national anthem. She stated, quote, that flag means nothing more than toilet paper to me, end quote. Either Mrs. O'Neill Ellis cares a lot about toilet paper, or she was trying to make an offensive statement to rile the public. Well, the latter resulted, and a petition is being circulated online to have her removed from the board, which serves nearly 40,000 schoolchildren. In response to the criticism she has received, O'Neill Ellis said on her school board Facebook page that, quote, the flag and the anthem are symbols in this country of freedom and justice and liberty for all. Yet that is a blatant lie for black folks, end quote. This is a sentiment echoed from unemployed NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick, who secured the media's attention last season when he refused to stand for the national anthem during preseason games. Kaepernick said he will not stand to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. So both Kaepernick and O'Neill Ellis have no pride for the flag or what they believe it stands for. Okay, but specifically, what does the flag mean, according to those who created it? Do you know? How many stripes on this American flag? I don't know. What do the stripes <laughs> represent? Oh man, are you history lessoning me? Oh uh, God, I used to know this stuff. Crap. I don't know. The 13 colonies, the original 13 colonies. In case that was you just now, here you go. In 1777, the Second Continental Congress passed the Flag Resolution, which stated, Resolved that the flag of the 13 United States be 13 stripes, alternate, red, and white. That the Union be 13 stars, white in a blue field, represent a new constellation. Since the original resolution, we've become 50 United States, so that there are now 50 stars, one for each state. The color red symbolizes hardiness and valor, while white represents purity and innocence. Blue is intended to signify vigilance, perseverance, and justice. It was the sight of our American flag that inspired Francis Scott Key to write a poem eventually called the Star-Spangled Banner back in 1814. This poem would become our national anthem in 1931. The American flag has flown overseas. It has flown in the North Pole, and it was proudly placed on the moon by Neil Armstrong in 1969. But in 2017, just like other monuments and symbols across the country, the flag has been deemed unworthy and a symbol of tyranny, which means it must be destroyed. Basically, any object that can remind the individual of personal rights and liberties, given because of the Constitution, must now be destroyed. This is the narrative provided over and over. Mrs. O'Neill Ellis claims that the flag means nothing but toilet paper, and she has a First Amendment right to speak her mind about the flag. But she also has a responsibility to the students and family on whose behalf she serves. Mrs. O'Neill Ellis, who is also an attorney, has great ability to make change. She is one of seven school board members who re represent nearly 40,000 school children. So rather than using the flag as toilet paper, which if you think about it would be quite expensive, it would be rather inconvenient, and this is to say nothing about the comfort level of its use, Mrs. O'Neill Ellis can make a much greater impact and be the better person for demonstrating to the students that change does not have to be about tearing people apart. And it doesn't have to be about destroying everything that built the American Republic. This American Republic, which, contrary to her accusations, has given her the ability to serve on the Board of Education. So educate the students. Do not just provide a cheap one-off on Facebook. Take a knee. Take a stand. Just take actual action. 
For this week's episode, I'm Katie. Stay healthy, America.